who are you? Tame Impala. And who's in Tame Impala? Could you please introduce them? All right. I'm Kevin. This is Jay. My name's Jay. <laughs> <laughs> this is Cam. Hello. This is Dom. And this is Hello. Bonjour à tous. <laughs> Welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Thanks. Have you guys had any contact at all with Mr. Andre 3000? Never, not a peep. I think I can hook you up. Really? Oh, yeah? Whoa. Yes. I have somebody I'd like you to meet right here. I have a gift for you, Tame and Pala, right here, an Andre 3000. Hey. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> that's hilarious. So, do you think he would approve of you holding him? You've had no feedback at all from Andre 3000? Uh, I'm sure he wouldn't mind. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't mind if I'm quite big and I, I could I hold him. He, I think he looks like Andre 3000 crossed with Cam, that doll. <laughs> we, we don't need Andre now, we've got this thing. This, is, this suffices hey, completely. If you're touring in Australia, you might go to Rot's Nest. But what about Kalgoorlie? <laughs> <laughs> I lived in Kalgoorlie. You did. Yeah. Could you please explain to the people? It's a lot of explaining, isn't there, with Team Impala. What is Kalgoorlie? Well, if you go to town and um, took out all the buildings. Oh no, there were still buildings, but you just covered it in red paint that's what red dust it's a, it's a mining town and there's this red dirt. everything is red you know because it's like it blows and yeah um are there any gigs there at all that's where uh, tim rogers from umi is from you'd know them you know yeah have you guys played any gigs there have any of you ever played kalgoorlie no 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 i've never played kalgoorlie ever no. what have you told julian about kalgoorlie i don't know we did we Translation, he's mad that you haven't told him anything about Calgary. Julian and I have never actually had a conversation because he doesn't speak English and I don't speak French. So we just have never had a proper... What did he say? Back to Perth. I wanted to ask you guys about some Perth bands. What can you tell the people about the Triffids? I met these guys the other day at our show. My, um... My girlfriend's dad, his friends went, brought them to the show and I met them and had a drink with them and they were really nice and I, and I said this album that I'd, I'd been meaning to listen to for a long time and I never have. I don't think any of us have heard it actually. No. And that's Mandura it's Bay? What is that place right there? Mandura. What does it look like now? Oh man, it, look, it looks kind of heinous now. There's probably like a big Target or like Walmart or something oh, there now. And there's another record from Perth I want to ask you guys about. The Stems. <laughs> Mariano. You're featuring your own dom. Yeah, uh, I think it might be a different dom. <laughs> a slightly older, more refined dom. An amazing dom in the stems. What do you guys think of the stems? Like great garage rock, right? Yeah, they're cool. We, I think they were one of the first bands we played with. And we, um, they got us like a support, Tame Impala or something like that. And uh, I just remember thinking it was crazy. We were playing with rock legends of Perth. You know, there, there was this whole thing about them and we didn't really know anything. Tell us about the importance of the Fremantle Scooter and Boogie Board Gang. Oh, yes. It's uh, still in early uh, development. We've only got one scooter. <laughs> but it's, and, uh, and, and, and we only had one boogie board. I'm not sure where it's gone now. But it's, uh, it's going to be huge. And that's how you met the band Cam, right? <laughs> well, well, yeah, in the, yeah. Well, it was mostly boogie boarding, mostly boogie boarding, and then scootering. I was the first to have a scooter. I gave Kevin a lift on a scooter one day, and he's like, "I'm getting one," but then mine got stolen and broken. You also, and, then he, and then he borrowed mine and crashed it. There's, <laughs> there's a popular it. feeling in Australia that scooters are kind of wussy and un, uh, you know unmasculine, but we're we're making them cool. What about the Monster Burger? Didn't you eat a Monster Burger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in um in Brighton at South by Southwest last year. It was a pound of beef and a pound of chicken and then rasher bacon and half a pound of chips and I had to eat it all in less than 15 minutes and they got it for free. And I did. I was the first person to have ever done it. And they put my picture on the wall. And the next day I thought someone was coming up to me and go like, hi, are you Cam from Pond? And this guy comes up and goes like, are you the burger guy? And I was like, I became his local hero for like two days. As he was finishing it, there was all these like old English people in this random pub in, I can't remember what town it was, all standing around the booth, like cheering him on, you know? What's the Fremantle's Docker theme song? Um, well, the Fremantle Dockers are a footy team. The greatest football club in the world. The greatest football club in the world. <laughs> not really, not, not yet. <laughs> so Julian, you speak Fremantle then? Yeah, uh, you want to hear the theme? Yeah. I can sing the theme. Go on. Free yo. 
way to go. Something, 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 free, oh, where did, uh, something, 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 something. He's only just, you know, he's a transplant from France. He's, he hasn't <laughs> properly learned it yet, you know. Sure. We're going to teach him properly. We got, we got jerseys the other day, though. Here we are in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. There's a famous person from Perth that recorded albums in Vancouver. Do you have any idea who that might be? Uh, Bon Scott. Not quite. I don't know. I'm not too sure. Well, I have a gift for you. I have a gift for you right here. It is Mr. Rolf Harris. Hey. 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 And what record do we have there? Jake the Peg in? Vancouver Town. And another record, another gift for you. What do we have? Rolf Harris at the cave in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Game. At the Cave Club, and he has the great song Vancouver Town on there. And Vancouver Town, what do you guys know about Rolf Harris? Did you know he's like so legendary in Vancouver? Do you think maybe you'd learn Vancouver Town? Yeah, he's famous for playing Stairway to Heaven on a wobble board. That sounds pretty amazing, actually. I didn't know he was from Perth. I knew he was Australian, but yeah, he's, he's, he's most famous to us for playing. He was, a, yeah, he was a good swimmer as well. I remember my dad, my dad like... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, my dad said when, because he worked on boats, he said, like, yep, that's where Rolf Harris used to swim from here all the way down to the end of the river there. So there we have some Rolf Harris Vancouver Canadian content, but there's more for you guys as well, believe it or not. Patrick, oh, what do we have here? Uh, that's just a mate. That's just a, you don't see, like, back of album covers like that anymore, do you? That's amazing, isn't it? What, what even is that? It's Stanley Park in Vancouver. Too. He's got three last chicks. Because it's Jake the... Ah, uh, Jake the Peg. In? In Vancouver Town. <laughs> what a genius. And you're going to cover, of course, right there. Oh, we're going to cover Vancouver Town tonight, of course, yes. So it's Vancouver Town 71 there, wow. but you're going to put Vancouver Town. If I learn the chords, you can come up and sing it. We'll do the, like, synth remix. You have Australians come out everywhere to see you, don't you? True, they do. And when they do, they, they let it be known that they're Australian, you know, very quickly. Yeah, by heckling this. us oh, yeah. <laughs> about how we've we're got this like right? ridiculous chant that we do when we're in other parts of the world. What is the chant? It's or when we're winning sport or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> we as in Team Impala or we as in Australians? As in Australians, yeah. They just go, Ozzy, 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 Oi, 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 Ozzy, 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 Oi, Oi, Oi. Ozzy, so oi. Midway through like a really pretty part of one of the songs. <laughs> Some guy will be, oh, Ozzy, Ozzy, oh, we're Australian. Oh, Kevin, I'm Australian. <laughs> yeah, you're it. just absolutely stoked to see them like backstage. They're like, man, I'm Australian. <laughs> you're like, oh, yes. But what about when Australians come backstage in Australia? Like fellow Australians like Craig from the Vines. What? No, not him. I thought you meant Australians. Yeah, that was amazing. What happened there? Craig from the Vines showed up at one of your gigs and ended up doing, come on, get. Yeah, oh, free. free. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't. Um, yeah, we, uh, we were totally starstruck, you know, because we're all super massive fans. And then, um, and then the gig, um, someone thought it was a, would be a great idea if uh, Craig came out with us and played Get Free. And it, it was like... Craig's idea, actually. Oh, yeah? The encore. It was, like, yeah. it was like half an hour after we finished playing. <laughs> it's the only encore we did around those days. We never used to do encores. And half the people had left. And the house lights were on. I'm pretty sure our sound guy was like packing up his stuff. We came on just like, do do do. It, it was pretty amazing because we all idolised the the vines, you know, when we were kids. The first, the that that first record especially, and everyone Dom did the solo like from when he learnt it as a you know, as a whippersnapper. It was pretty. Uh, there was the tempo was a bit off. <laughs> what he said afterwards? But, uh, no, 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 that's right. No, I don't know what he said. I, I was just stoked to see him, you know, screaming away. Well, did Craig from the Vines also do that with the Smashing Pumpkins? Like, I heard he did it with the Smashing Pumpkins as well. Oh, really? I feel like the same tune. <laughs> oh, what? The, at their show, he just, read, he just goes around. I'm going ro to I'm gonna rock up to people, all the all the young band shows in f five, ten years and make them play half a glass of wine. <laughs> with Craig's Craig's like yeah. Because you love the Rundgren, don't you? We do. We love a bit of Rungren. And I was thinking, you didn't get a chance to cover the Naz with your brothers in Pond. You didn't get a chance to cover or Team and Pala. So I thought I would bring you right here some Rungren that you can cover with on your walls right here. Hey, it's a oh. tour poster? Yes, this is a Todd Rungren glow-in-the-dark tour poster. Because you had had some communication with Todd, haven't you? 
Uh, well, not directly. He remixed our song, but there was that was one of those label label things. Oh yeah, Cam met him actually. Like, like a couple of years ago, there was a One Movement festival in Perth, and, and you know, it's not. No one really knew who he was. I was like, oh my god, Todd Rundgren's playing. And everyone's like, who? So I went down, and there was about. You know, 20 guys, old guys in the front row, and then me dancing around. And the first song he opened with opened my eyes. No way, he's still doing that, eh? Yeah, it was awesome. He was doing, like, leg kicks and stuff, and he was he was awesome. But he wouldn't play International Field. I kept yelling it out, but he wouldn't do it. What about Cotteslo Beach? <laughs> oh, Cotteslo. <laughs> I, like, I want you to say Carl, Go- Carl Gooley again later, too. That was <laughs> Sorry about that. That was amazing. I lived there for a bit. He used to go there a lot. It's Yeah, a- yeah it's, it's amazing. I, I grew up on that beach. Julian, you were in a band that has a song called Lady Pornography. A Lady Pornograph. Yeah, what's that about? The Lady Pornographer. Oh, uh, whoa. That was Le Cube, your band Le Cube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that was years ago. I can't even remember what I was singing about. Probably some random chick I met in a party or something. <laughs> <laughs> Who likes sec- having sex and pills. But, uh, man, this is... <laughs> what do you think Julian is thinking about when he's playing drums? What's he thinking about? Yeah, what's he thinking about? He's probably thinking about um, his girlfriend, uh, how much he loves her. Um, thinking about thinking about what time signature he's going to do the next drum fill in. He's uh, thinking about the, the most fucked up prog drum beat he can do in the next four bars. Is that accurate? It is. It is actually, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Team Impala. Keep on rocking in the free world and do 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 do. Oh, you did a harmony that's so loud. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't do a harmony. I did the actual note. You did the harmony. <laughs> it's long. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.